doing what I love and doing it for a good purpose. And that is trying to bring a smile to the face of a child. I like to write a lot of different songs. I've been writing songs since I've been 16. And back in uh, February of 1996, I was walking down the street. I had this incredible epiphany. Just this idea pops into my head to create personalized songs for seriously old children. And I thought when they're going through these tough times, how incredible would it be for them to hear a song that's all about them? And I thought that that would be a great way to help boost their self-esteem or to make them forget about their illness for a while. The organization is named after a song that my fraternal twin brother Julio wrote two months before he died. He wrote this beautiful ballad called Songs of Love, and that's the name of the organization. Songs of Love is a, a national nonprofit organization. We provide fully produced personalized songs for children and teens who are chronically or terminally ill, free of charge. Hey, how you doing, Elena? This song of love is just for you, my friend. Lovely Elena, she is so much fun. She's brave and silly. She's buffed and tight. She is very rigid, just like Snow White. Songs of Love basically highlights each child's beauty and spirit. It highlights what they love in their lives. We don't talk about their illness. These kids are going through so much, the, the pain and fear and trauma of um, a hospitalization or whatever uh, illnesses they're going through. So we reflect back to them, their healthy selves, in a very powerful way through a song that lasts forever. Kamari has cerebral palsy. He has hydrocephalus, which is fluid in his brain. He has a VA shunt, and he also has um, asthma. I had Kamari when I was very young. I was 17, and um, it was a big step to take on. I've learned to pick myself back up. I follow in the footsteps of my mom a lot. My mom is strong, and you know, um, she's been strong with me and my sister and my brother our whole lives. And um, she's taught me how to be a mom to my son, and Kamari's Kamari, and Kamari's my son, and nothing is gonna break me, especially not, why? Why would I let him break me? He's an amazing kid. My son expresses himself a lot through music. Like, he really enjoys music. He likes to dance. He memorizes songs like this. He loves rap. I think the beat it was, is what gets him. And Kamari's into hip hop, and he likes going out to eat. He loves to sing. He likes art and music. And he's always smiling, laughing, uh, unless he's hungry when he gets very cranky. His personality uh, summed up in one word, unique. Yo, what's up, Kamari? <laughs> We put together this song of love just for you. He loves going out to eat. And when he takes a seat, he orders bacon. You can't beat his personality. He's unique. Come on and pray. Hey. Yeah. He's got so much energy. Come on. Come out and pray. <laughs> yeah, come on. He's got the best family. You like that song? Yeah. Who is it all about? You. No, you. <laughs> you. Say it's all about Kamari. All about Kamari. Yeah, yeah. that song goes all for you. What was your favorite part about the song? <laughs> Which one was your favorite part? Do you remember how it go? Kamari. Brady. Brady. <laughs> I like when he included, like, he shines a light. And he's bright because he does. Like he's very bright. His smile is bright. His his eyes are bright. Like he's just a bright kid. And so the song overall to me it was just like perfect. It was perfect for him because it's really him. I really think it's a great way to reach out to kids, especially kids with special needs, because I feel like they need something to make them feel special. 
it allows a kid to express themselves while also just talking about them. You know, everything is about them. So it's like, you know, it's all about me. That's exciting to me, you know. I love this song and I can't wait to play it in my car and he listens to it with me. I'm gonna try to get it on my phone. I just can't wait till he memorizes it because I know he's going to. <laughs> Anything that helps to uh, bring joy to that child to promote uh, chemical, positive chemical changes in the brain when, you know, when you're happy, you're smiling, the brain releases you know, endorphins and we feel that that certainly helps in the healing process. About four months ago, we reached 31,000 children, 31,000 individual fully produced personalized songs. And uh, by 2023, we'd like to be helping 7,000 kids a year. We've gotten some incredible reaction from parents, uh, and that really inspires us to keep doing what we do. I love you.